Oh, it is hot and steamy out there this midday. It feels like nearly 90 degrees across the entire state. We've got the high dew points. We've got the high heat, but at least we do have kind of a gusty wind coming in from the south southwest. We've got winds gusting now 35 to near 40 miles per hour. It's all dragging in the warmth and dragging in the moisture, so it's really going to be feeling like summer out there all throughout the evening. Highs today are going to be in the mid to upper 80s. We'll have a lot of sun at times, just a few clouds kind of filtering the sun. The wind stays gusty right throughout the evening and that feels like temp today is going to be topping out into the low 90s. Notice it stays warm this evening, so if you've got ball practice outdoors, it is going to be very warm for those kiddos still near 80 degrees by 9 p.m. This afternoon that heat index soars up into the low 90s, but big changes are coming. Here comes a cold front. Notice the colors changing here on the map. So by Tuesday afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, it's still going to be hot for southern and southeast Iowa. Heat index near 90 there, while up across northwest Iowa, it's going to feel much like fall in the 40s to near 50 degrees during the afternoon. And that cool air just keeps on coming in here as we head toward the end of the week. So so it is really going to be changing and we'll get a couple of seasons in here, especially tomorrow. We'll have a lot going on across the state with that cooler air coming in from the north. Where is it right now? It is out to the west and northwest of us across the Dakotas. That's where the cold front is this midday. We've got some clouds coming into the state, but this is just the feed of moisture. And as its front comes toward us, it's going to be slowing down and then just kind of becoming parallel more east west. And that's going to cause the storms to continue to move across the same areas heightening our flash flood risks. So let's take you hour by hour. This afternoon, dry, very warm. By 10 p.m., we'll get a few thunder showers developing across northwest Iowa, up near Storm Lake, Emmitsburg, and Esterville. Overnight, along and north of Highway 20, there could be some stronger storms right through 5, 6 a.m. on your Tuesday morning. Heavy downpours, gusty winds, a lot of lightning on the way. Most of the rain through 10 a.m. tomorrow morning stays north of I-80. So southern Iowa, you're still going to be catching a break from all the soggy weather that you had over the weekend. By 4 p.m. on Tuesday, northern Iowa still soggy. More storms develop out near Omaha, and that area of rain rolls through central Iowa through 8 p.m. on Tuesday. Showers and thunderstorms likely then starting across southern Iowa. A brief break early Wednesday is followed by more rain. Could be locally heavy across south central and southeast Iowa again before it finally comes to an end late Wednesday night and early on Thursday. Rain tracker shows a tremendous amount of moisture is on the way. Northern Iowa, this is just for Tuesday, picking up two to three, four inches of rain or even more. And then Southern Iowa, you get it too. This coming in on Wednesday, around three inches possible again in the same hard hit areas over the weekend. So we've got a flash flood watch that will go into effect at 10 p.m. tonight, lasting through Wednesday morning across the northwestern half of the state. Now it does not include Polk County, but it does include Dallas County, up through Story County, and then up to the north. Northwest. So this is the area that's going to be hit hardest initially. Watch for some changing conditions tomorrow. Right now, though, we've got the blue skies and sunshine and heat. 84 now in Des Moines. The dew point, a tropical 69. South wind at 18, gusting to 35. And the feels like temp here is 88. Here's your eight day forecast. Today stays warm and muggy. Storms develop late tonight. Roll through the area on Tuesday, especially the northern part of the state is going to hit really hard tomorrow with a heavy rainfall. Overnight Tuesday night and then Wednesday, southern Iowa gets the heavy rain and we might be sandwiched in here in the middle in Des Moines and really not get much at all. But everybody gets a taste of fall by the end of the week.